So all the in four words. Yeah. In, in a, oh, a few words. Yeah. In basically, words. you're saying that basically. Um, okay. Does all one? Christian yeah. music have the same goal? No. Uh, that's, I would say straight away no. You know what I mean? And I think that. Um, or oh, wait, there. let me let me okay, refine go. it. Yeah, go. Should all should the success uh, should all music Christian music have the same uh, criteria for success? Because that guy is saying success is just based on how many souls get saved. Is that the same standard that we base all Christian music on, and whether it's successful or not? Okay, right. That's a good point, though. That's a point. Yeah. And this is where it comes to what our baseline as Christians are success. Are we getting mixed in with prosperity or we're doing things on a Christian perspective? If we do things from a Christian pers- perspective, success is fulfilling your path for Christ on this earth and getting to heaven. That's success. You do that. Yo, you game on. You know what I'm saying? You can you mix in with prosperity. It's the problem is prosperity as coming to the church that we start to count things we start to measure things out still yeah whatever now su- a successful ministry is the body that upkeeps the church to such a level that everyone feels welcomed you know what I mean but no one's going to count the souls that he saves through just the church being blessed and warm and people come to church no one's counting that you know what I'm saying but his success he knows in his heart he's fulfilling God's purpose and at the end of it bam yo when God, when, when he comes like, boom, I've ran the race, man. I've done my things. I'm gonna go to heaven, and God turns around and says, "Yo, you don't, you, you, you're faithful. You done what it is. Safe one of them guys were called to do something else, but they did that for the fame, for the egotistical, for, because of their skill, ability. You know, is that success? I feel like, um, to answer uh, Michael's question to a certain degree. Um, it's different. Each each Christian artist has a different goal, essentially. Mm. Or mm. each each artist that makes Christian music has a different goal. Mm. And the reason why I say that is because you can't say to me that Todd Delaney is the same as a Faith Child, and then you can't tell me a Faith Child is the same as Names Bliss, and then you can't tell me Names Bliss is the same as um, Winita Francis. Do you know what I mean? They've all got different purposes. They're all making Christian music. Don't get it twisted. But they've all got different purposes. They've all got different... The end goal is to essentially get to heaven. But their purpose for making their music and for, for what they're doing it for is one, for Christians to have good music to listen to that is actually pleasing unto God, essentially, and uplifts your soul and uplifts like your Christian life. But also, they make good music because that's one of the reasons why they've been put on this earth to by God is to make music. So that to answer that kind of question, it is different for for different art for different for everyone I would say. Um mm. but in regards to like the um if we go back to what the guy actually said, I feel like he had a brainwave during the conversation because <laughs> his if you notice his persona kind of changed at the end because then he was like, I don't even want to be mainstream, I just want to like yeah. save souls. Yeah. I just want to bring souls to Christ. And it went from the amount of people to I don't even want to be out there like that. I just want to make sure that souls are coming to Christ. So I feel like I feel like sometimes it's just a little bit of education that they need in terms of like what the goal is. I feel like the, their heart's in the right place. The, what they want to achieve for God is in the right place. But it's that education of the measure. It's the measurement. What's the measuring stick? Do you understand that God, when you get to heaven or if you get to heaven, God isn't going to be like, OK, you saved a thousand souls. So you can come in and if someone saved 999 souls, you can't come in because you didn't reach the, reach the criteria for the amount of souls. It doesn't work that way. It's, it's If you save one soul and that was your purpose on, on this earth, then God will say, yo, listen, you've done what I've asked you to do. So at the end of the day, I think it's just a little bit of education for, especially not even just from just him. I would say like a lot of the kind of younger artists who are coming up because they're looking at hope dealers and looking at those type of of artists and thinking if they want to get numbers, when I start making music, I'm going to want to get numbers Mm. rather than when they're coming up and they're saving souls, I want to save souls as well. Mm. So I think that's, that it's just education really in in regards to his comment and stuff. Mm, Okay. You're right. Mike, you pick up your mic. What are you saying? No, I'm saying (laughs) I agree with that. (laughs) You agree with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, Shania, what are you saying? Um, I think... So I'm putting you in the spot. (laughs) No, it's all right. I think if you go back to like what you said, I think you asked Roger, was it is it young people, is it the church? Yeah. yeah. I feel like it kind of 
is the church. It's come from the church. It stands from the church. Um, oh no, oh no, oh no. So you say you say wait, that no, this ad- attitude come from the church? Okay, go 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 go. I, 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 I kind of hear that. So. Yeah, cool. Okay, so cool, cool, go, 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 go. So I'm, I'm just reloading <laughs> so everyone knows that Shania just said that come from the church. From the word, no, 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 go, go, not from the word, but just from the church. Go for it, sis. Go for it. Well, the way I see it is because I feel like. Like a church, the church I go to is quite small, okay, and a lot cool. of people they'll come to that church and they'll think, "Wow, well, you know, you're not really successful. You're not mm. really, yeah, you know, getting anywhere." Yeah, mm, and yeah, you mm. see the churches with big loads of like hundreds, thousands of members, mm. and you're thinking, "Yeah, this church is doing good. This church is yeah." Do you get what I mean? And yeah. I feel like that's how we measure success in the church sometimes. So I think sometimes it does stem from the church. That was an excellent, excellent, excellent answer, <laughs> you know, excellent because mm. because that's it's mm. actually true because mm. there's a lot of there's a lot of small churches out there where I've been to small, like I've I've been like, I've been victim to it. Well, I've been I can say I've done this myself. Where I've gone to smaller churches than the one that I go to myself, mm. and I've been like, rah, it's small here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, <there's, laughs> like they even got no drum kit. It's just, <laughs> just it's just keys. It's, it's just keys and two vocalists. Or like, lucky I've, 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 this is what I'm saying. Like I've been I've been to churches where it's like there's not even no no keys, no nothing, and it's just like two people singing at the yeah. front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like ten people like in the congregation. And I've gone to those churches, especially when I was like younger and stuff. My dad used to take me to this church in Litchfield, and he used to say, "Oh, come, I gotta go like preach." And I'd be like, "Oh man!" And there'd be six people there, and I'd be like, "We're one of the six. Mm-hmm. Me and my mom mm-hmm. made up two out of the six yeah. people yeah, that yeah, was there." Yeah, 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 so, and yeah, it was yeah, just yeah, like yeah, to me, it yeah, was like, oh, yeah. "Let me go back to my big church, which yeah, is yeah, three hundred people yeah, every yeah, Sunday." Yeah, yeah. But then you realize that at the end of the day, everyone is finding their path to go to 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 get to Christ at the end of the day. And some people going to a big church can get lost. Mm-hmm. And and yeah. sometimes yeah, they're, when they're looking for like salvation and stuff like that, and they're mm. looking for that prayer, and they need that hand on their shoulder, mm. sometimes on a consistent basis, just to say, "Listen, I got you." I'm mm. encouragement. You're not always going to get that at a big church, mm. and at a smaller church is more intimate. You can have those kind of conversations mm. with people <laughs> and stuff. So I do think mm. we, when we go to bigger churches, and not just us, but other people, when they go to bigger churches, we can be kind of. Um, what's the word kind of like stuck up in terms of the fact that we've got a big congregation so mm. when we go to a small church like oh this is what you guys have got okay, really yeah. so yeah, I yeah, do kind of yeah. I, I agree with what Shania is saying to a certain degree but it is the young people as well it's education I think it's a mixture of both 